In this video, we're going to take a look at the improved Substance Format support in the Summer 2018 release. So with the Substance Format, we now support Visible If, Attributes, and Embedded Presets. So to start, let's take a look at Visible If. So here I have a fill layer where on the color channel, I just have a gradient. Now I'm going to come over here to my filters. I'm going to add a filter. And within this guy here, we're going to choose the gradient filter. So we'll enable this. And here we can use this filter to colorize uh, some grayscale values. So, uh, so for example, let's start to set a color. We'll start with red. And uh, let's come in here and do something like, uh, let's see here kind of like a yellow, and then finally we'll, we'll switch this guy over here to green for our third color. So now we have this gradient. So this particular filter supports the visible if command. So in Substance Designer, when you expose a parameter, you can actually write a visible if command that will make that parameter visible if some other condition is true. So for example here, with the color quality set to three, we see only three color input parameters. Now as I start to add more colors, so you can see I switch this to four, now we get a new color swatch. If we set this to five, we get another one, and we switch it to six, and so on. So here you can see how that visible if is now being supported directly here in Substance Painter. So the next thing I'd like to show you is how embedded presets work. So here I have a substance that I downloaded from Substance Source. So I'm just going to drag and drop this guy here into uh, the 3D view, and I'm just going to apply it here to the full texture set. And while I'm here, I'm just going to come over here to my projection. I'll set this here to try planar projection. And then I can use the new transform manipulator here to position this projection. All right, so like I said, this is a substance coming from source. And this particular substance has embedded presets. So any substance that has a preset, you'll see that underneath the parameters, you'll notice that we have a new preset dropdown. And then this allows me to access the embedded presets within the substance file. So for example, here, let's try this third preset. And this is the result that we get. Here, let's try another preset. And here you go. You can see that we can easily just switch between each of these embedded presets here just by using the simple dropdown. Also, we've added the ability to view the attributes that are also embedded within a substance graph. So here you'll see there's a new attribute section. If I click the drop down here, you can see that the description, this is part of the automotive drop from Substance Source. It lets you know the category, the author. Here you even have a URL. So this is actually a live link. If I click this, it's going to navigate me to this uh, web page here. And then we can also view the tags and size. So that's the new improvements we've made to the substance format here within Painter. We can view attributes as well as embedded presets. And Visible If is now respected here in the Painter UI. Visible If is going to be really great when you're creating your own substance materials or creating your own filters and generators and want to provide more complex controls to the UI. Thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you next time.